Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site. How the devil are you, mate? Eh? Oh my goodness gracious me, it's going to be good today, mate, because we're going to go over to King Frostmare's channel. Make sure you go over to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing, all right? And get him up to a million subscribers. But today, I'm going to do something different, mate, all right? I'm going to go over to his house and react to this video in person with him. Me and him, mate. I'm going to go over to his house right now. I'll see you there in a minute. Without further ado, daddy, Lee Day. Let's do this. No, you stay there. Stay there. Thank you so much for inviting me to La Casa, you bloody legend. Anyway, um, have you got any headphones? Okay. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Yeah. Oh, nice, comfy. Yeah, okay. Anyway, can I just do my little intro? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's How the Devil Are You? Hey? Look, I'm here, mate, with Frosty. Hey, what a legend. Um... Uh, I'm here, let's crack on. I, I'm, I'm done, mate. Do you want to do your thing? Yeah? Okay. Hello, guys. It is time for a new episode of Scary Videos that I have never seen. I hope you are all ready. And now, let's buckle up and stay frosty. Yes, mate. I am. I am. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, Frosty. Where's he gone? Fro frosty! Frosty! Where the fuck's he gone? Is, is, is he gone to the shop? I don't know. Wesley Manor. We gotta start up with an update on the channel Haunted Wesley Manor. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with that one. We've talked about it in the past. And the description reads as follows. The Wesley Manor was built in the 1980s. And although the building itself has been renovated and altered many times, it mm -hmm. is actually still the same original foundation. The house was the home of Edward Barton Wesley and his family, although many have owned and lived there throughout the years. It was even briefly used as a hospital from 1818 to 1820 during the Spanish flu pandemic. Sorry to stop you there, um, Frosty, but I'd just like to say as well, there's probably maximum shadow bastards in there, mate. Let's go. Sorry. I did not know that. In the 1930s, the building was converted into apartments and was then used as a care home for the elderly before becoming the apartment building it is today. Now, I believe that John is a contractor that okay. is working in this old manor and the 13th floor is apparently abandoned. It's funny, 13th floor, mate. Unlucky for some, 13, evil, you know? And that's where a lot of weird stuff is going on. So let's take a look at one of his latest captures. Child caught on live. Alright, you're gonna notice a lot of connection issues. Hang on, mate. That is a that is a ring bastard there, mate. That is a bloody ring bastard there. Look at you. Look at you in there, mate. That's straight from the bloody ring. And that is yeah, true. look at that. Yeah. His face. It's from the fucking ring, Frosty! These entities present themselves, this happens. Look where the, the two swirling red and blue balls are, and you will see the ghost child. So this was happening while he was live streaming on TikTok? It seems like it, mate. Can, can I have a fucking... Can I have a drink, mate? A coffee? Freaky dicky. Is it just staying there? It's literally Is that just... the live reaction of his at the time? I don't know, mate. Bob, Bob we have one of the ghost children. That thing's just fucking staying there looking at you. He's like, look at me. Look at me looking at you. Huh? What's that all about? That's never real. That's never real. But like, that is some really weird ass kid there, right? Maximum hair shampoo as well. Look how shiny his hair is. Maximum. See how bad the connection is? Terrible. Is the ghost children in here right now with us. Has it got black eyes? Frosty has got black eyes! So they cause interference with the Wi Fi? The ghost children in here right now with us. It doesn't feel like being the energy doesn't. It's just. I mean, the chat is even reacting a little, right? Yeah, but mate, what I'm saying is, it's just fucking staring at you, not even moving. It's not, it's not saying like, oh, give me a little fake video. Oh, now you see me, now you don't. All right? It's just that. Like, have a good bloody look, mate. Because, yeah, I'm a little kid ring bastard. Doesn't feel like being the energy doesn't feel the same. Oh, 
What do you reckon, Frosty? What do you reckon, mate? Is this is this paranormal? So are we witnessing a real ghost child here, guys? I mean It is certainly a kid. As far as I understand, this was a live stream that he streamed to his followers on his Instagram and while for a while nothing was happening, this child popped up behind the pillar. And it is said that this child roams around on that floor for whatever reason. I just willy-nilly. Just willy-nilly. Actually, I have no idea. And now we will follow up with another of his live streams, which apparently was recorded during a Q&A session with John. Uh, hello, everybody. All right, so I was actually doing some reply videos in here and um, straight up saw one of the ghost children. And I was like, oh, okay. I need to go live. So there's several. Who just wanders around and just? Oh, I've just seen another ghost. Vi a, a, a ghost baby. Ghost. A, a, sh a ring baby child. Right? Who just sees that in their everyday life? I, I, I like. What is that all about? I haven't seen. I've never. Thank. Thank the Lord. I've never seen a ring baby. All right. If I saw a ring baby, mate. Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. What do you reckon, Frosty? If you ever saw a ring baby, bastard, what would you do? Ghost children. I, I, I thought it's just one. I was like, I need to go live because now this is a very unique opportunity. I hope the energy stays the same. It is. It's staying exactly where we need it to. Um, it's actually, the energy in here is actually quite crazy and my body's reacting to it as well. Uh, let me just explain to you what I was doing. I was making uh, reply videos with that new feature, and uh, I kept hearing giggling, laughing, things I've got a feeling. getting thrown. I've got a feeling something's going to go absolutely mental, mate. Um, all sorts of, all sorts of. Sh all right, let me stop doing this and let me go live. So that's what I'm doing now, and I'm in here. And Wait, he's going live now. So like, who is he speaking to beforehand? Then, if it wasn't live before. Far. I'm hearing fate disembodied voices. I am hearing, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, he's talking Reminds to the me a little bit of the basement of Kent, almost as creepy. It's, the, it's definitely the ghost children. Spirit. Spirit, and this thing just said spirit. Run! All right, I'm gonna take a look around in here. Sounds like an Remember, I can't go too far because then I lose a, uh, I lose service. All right, we already got some refocusing right here, and. Yeah, 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 it's going to be there. Is that one of them right there? No, is that one of them right there? Is that it? Right, right there? What is that? What do you reckon, Frosty? Why don't you check? Yeah, well, Rambo it! He's talking about if this. If that's one of the ghost children, can you peek out a little bit? Can you peek out just a little? Oh, shit. oh look at you! Children. No, that's bullshit, mate. If you're one of the ghost children, could you peek your head out? Frosty, this is bullshit, mate. I'm sorry. I... First of all, does he know he's a ghost? He's like, oh, ghost children, that's me. That's me, yeah. I'm a ghost child. I'm gonna poke my head out. Is it? Oh, sh Finally a f***ing live and I can see one. <sighs> fucking hell, man. I didn't want that a big blob was all about. Are you- are you Bean? Oh, Bean? Look, there's- No, I'm Ben. Something black peeking out of the door frame here. It's a shadow bastard, Frosty. Right, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go over there. Oh, he's fucking gone. Listen. I almost <laughs> slipped. Turn left straight away. Turn left straight away. Who fucking does that? There's the wall. Okay, there's the wall. Here's your camera. The fucking ghost, the ghost baby is here. Literally here, right? You don't just with your camera do that. You you do that, you do that. You look straight away. Oh, now you look. Now you look. After twenty five minutes. I don't. I, I can see your face, Frosty. I don't think you're co totally convinced, mate. I don't think you're totally convinced. You like me, aren't you? Let's go. Nothing, of Dude. course. And that's quintessential right there. That is what happens every time I go up to these ghost kids. I have to really start letting them come to me. Whole Well, it doesn't appear that those children actually move, right? And Holy sh**. 
Did anybody screen record that by any chance? All right, listen. I don't want this live to get. Oh, it's all right. I don't want. I don't want this live to get corrupted. I'm gonna end it and then I'm gonna come right back. I think we we saw once again a ghost child peeking out, but what has to be said is that he took one of those weird corners ways you know when he walks into the room that technically was enough room for the kid to just sneak by exactly frosty that's what i'm talking about mate you and me on the same wavelength buddy me and me and frosty we're on the same bloody wavelength if it was not a real spirit we just have to scout out what could it be you know yeah is this a real haunting or is there something else going on and this time there was no weird lagging thank god and it was a live stream as well so and now we jump to one of his latest update videos. And yet again, apparently something interesting happened. Okay. Hello everybody, as most of you know, my name is John from Haunted Wesley Manor. Unfortunately, what has happened here at the manor in the past and current and the current present uh, is no longer TikTok. At, at the current present, as opposed to the future present. <laughs> friendly. I cannot even tell the history of this place without catching a ban on TikTok. Did you see that look in the mirror? Both what? Of my names on I TikTok didn't see it, Frosty. Are currently banned. So, hey! what I will be doing is moving my live streams. But hang on a second. Again, why is he? Why is he off center? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna record myself now off center. So the mirror is right here. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Come on. Right now, over to Clapper. I can't put the link in the bio or anything or, or, or in, in the comments. Well, he swears a lot. Maybe that's an issue. I or don't in know. the video or anything like that, because again, that now also goes up against TikTok standards. And this is for anybody who is 18 years or older. Okay. I do not want children in my streams, even on TikTok. But there's nothing I can do about that. So I will be moving to Clapper. You will see this video on my multiple accounts. And I would appreciate there if you would give me a follow <laughs> there. Some point after midnight tonight, I will be live from there. I don't know, Everybody Frosty. Again, mate, I don't know, man. I think this guy, I think this guy is just like taking the piss. I'm sorry, Frosty. I know you've got, I, I know you've been sent this or something, but I don't know, mate. What do you reckon? Huh? What do you reckon, Frosty? Thank you very much. Thank you for the support so far. Uh, but unfortunately, this place is too real. For TikTok. My question is, is this mirror always there? I, I suppose it is, right? It would be too heavy to move around. So maybe this acts as kind of a portal for those spirits to enter, you know, the abandoned floor. And we see that child, I don't know if it's the same. I mean, it looks pretty similar, but what can I say? It's just basically a head poking out. Is this the actual spirit? Is it fuck of a child that might have found his or her end on this floor? Or are we dealing with a hoax here? I think it's a pretty interesting case. I think it's pretty creepy since not always he shares a capture with us. I rate his today's videos 8.5 skulls out of 10. 8.5 skulls? I would say, uh, okay, Frosty, I think you're being generous there. I think you're being generous, mate. I'm going to say... I'm gonna be a generous seven. A generous seven, okay? It's really creepy, really entertaining, and I'm looking forward to see more of this stuff. Yeah, the entertainment brought it up a bit. Yeah. Nice. Shadow Vigil. Now we want to check out video by Ember's Love. <laughs> Maximum eyelashes, please! Talia, who actually doesn't usually post paranormal stuff. It's mostly about dancing and short story times. However, this next clip in particular has really interested the paranormal community. It sounds intriguing. Fortunately, we have to mute the music. Oh, really? I know. It, it does my head in frosty when you have to do that, mate. But let's, let's carry on anyway. Oh, was that a jacket? What? Oh! Frosty, you missed it, mate! Somebody standing behind her. Rewind a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. See that again. Oh shit in hell! I didn't even see that, Frosty. I didn't even see that, mate. Look, there's something. Jumping, there you are. And then there's somebody behind her. Like, what's going on here? What is that? 
What is that? What is that thing? She's got no fucking clue. Jumping. Oh, fucking look at you. Look at you. She has no bloody idea, mate. Here, look. Oh, it's like just one frame. Go on, pause it. Pause it, Frosty. Stop! Let me transparent. Stop. Fuck. Like fully. Then right behind her, this thing. There is definitely somebody standing. It would appear that compared to the upper body, look how short the legs are. Oh, God, yeah. I didn't even see that. What is it? Stumpy legs. Maybe that's just a weird effect and a super tall shadow figure. Shadow bastard, no. Frosty. Well, if we believe the description, she has never captured anything paranormal. Which would mean that this would be the first time for her that there might have been something from another realm jumping into the frame and then manifesting right behind this girl. This is a spooky one. I mean, even though I'm not a big fan of TikTok dance. Look at that. Look, what is that? What is that? Videos that much anymore, but this one is really. Did you, did, did you say you're not into TikTok dance videos anymore? Special, I feel. She has no idea that that thing just popped up behind her. Not it doesn't make clue. it really better, does it? Really unsettling. If this wasn't a setup, which of course we never know, some people. Imagine recording that. Imagine recording that, mate. Okay? And just like playing it back. And knowing that you're in the house alone. Knowing that you're in the house alone. You play it back and you see that, mate. Your life from that day onwards would be totally different. It would change. I apparently even think this was a demonic entity right behind her. I rate it. Eight skulls out of ten. Okay, yeah, I would... deserve more. But... No, 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 no. I think eight is fine. I think eight is fine, Frosty. I think, don't you reckon, chat? Chat? You not? It's not a live stream, but it could be. But it's not. What do you reckon? I was a little bit skeptical with TikTok. If it was real, man, that's some nightmare stuff. Photo bomber. Next was uploaded by Reddit user Devin Perry 999 He writes that this photo was taken in his grandfather's house a few years ago and he's only seen it now for the first time. Okay. Apparently his cousin took the photo, wanting to capture the dog in the chair. Right. And then noticed the creepy figure behind. Since the house had already had a lot of paranormal activity going on at the time, he didn't want to share it and scare his grandparents and the rest of his family even more. Yeah, that's understandable, but... I think whenever something like that happens to you, you should talk with your close ones about it. According to the uploader, his grandmother would often see and hear a woman around the house, who she assumed was an old resident. There were also many events of doors swinging open, TVs turning on and off, and lights flickering. Let's take a look. So apparently this is the capture. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, shit in hell! Oh, is she talking about that thing? Is that the woman that's being spoken of? Yes, mate! Or is it this? Oh, is it fucking there's all over them! There's loads of them, mate! There is absolutely loads of them! Well, I certainly see several things in this one. And here, look, Frosty, and here, mate! Let's take a look. Well, for- Oh, what the fuck is that, man? Skeletor, mate! Skeletor's right here! One? Ooh, that left one reminds me a little bit of Skeletor! Bagul from Sinister, you know, that thing that comes and makes Skeletor, Frosty, it's Skeletor, mate. His victims. Yeah, that might be something. That's like something like there, there's this whole old VR game, okay? It's called The Mansion. If you want to go and see, I've got two videos of it, right? Of, of, of freaks me the F out. Okay? And there's a girl in there. Like that, right? That's the girl from the VR game, bloody, um, The Mansion, all right? It's Freaky Deaky. I think it's called The Mansion. I'm sure it is. Completely different, but this, yeah, the right thing actually could be a woman looking into the frame. Maybe coming down the a stairwell here. I don't know if they had a stairwell, but maybe just a peeker. Ooh, that's creepy. And, and what is that here? 
Was what? Look, it's also, I mean, you can see sh um, shapes and faces almost everywhere if you really want to. There's also something weird here. I don't know what you're looking at there, mate. I don't know what you're looking at. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't see it. Explain. In between the dog and the table. Is that another face? It's grinning maybe the nose right here. Yeah, I don't know. What, the, the nose right where, mate? But I see several things here. The question is, is this, since it's a little bit blurry too, just our imagination, is it just paradoia, probably? Or is there something else on the photo that is simply not explainable? I rate this image 7.5 skulls out of 10. I would say even higher, mate. I, I, I Frosty, I would say 8. 5 maybe I would say 8.5 it is quite scary but we don't know if it's paradoia or not but one could get goosebumps no doubt about that mm, okay <sighs> it has big feet now this is a supposed Bigfoot sighting that was filmed in 2014 in Minnesota. The description reads that this was uploaded by North by Wild West. The camera woman was filming her Christmas tree and family when apparently she noticed something strange outside her window and decided to go check it out. Hey! Many viewers have hey! said this is an authentic Bigfoot sighting considering how candid it is and especially the way the dog reacts. Let's take a look. Say Merry Christmas everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see that? Something's behind the garage. That thing in the window? The little. Didn't you see it, Frosty? It just went past back, back, back of the shed, whatever it is. Person? Did you see that? No, what was it? I saw something walking in the distance right yeah. there. Yeah, it was really big. Oh That's what God, she said. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fossey. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, here. Look. No way. Yeah. Yeah. That can't be. What the? Run! Rambo it, mate! Rambo it! Oh, my God. Are you, are you getting this? I think so. There's certainly somebody walking. Oh my god. Don't just say oh my god, just fucking get there, mate. Rambo egg. Get my gun! Oh, Martha? Oh no. Get my gun! We got a goddamn Bigfoot out gone? here! Well, the dog certainly will find it. The dog's Rambo in it, huh? Oh shit, he's running back. Huh. I don't know. Frosty, I think we need to talk about that, mate. The bloody dog ran over there, shit himself, and ran back. Like, what's over there? Well, I have to say, the way the dog reacts, this could actually be something legit. Yeah! I just don't see where it is now. And where the dog went. It is. See my okay, dog came back. I hear something though. I still hear it. Go on, Simo. Don't try anything. You guys hear if we see it again. Where? Oh. What? Oh my this? God. Oh shit! No! Yeah! 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 Here, mate. Here! 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 No, this. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Fucking hell! How wide is that, mate? How wide? That's like pretty much my. What do you say, Fossey? My width? Maybe a bit smaller? <laughs> Fucking hell! It's oh, fast God. too! We were get back inside, guys. Yeah. Well, this was certainly an interesting recording. Um, this either was. Look! Look at it, mate! a real Bigfoot encounter or it was Uncle George in a Bigfoot costume scaring <laughs> the family 
and playing out a skit with the rest of them. <laughs> now, you know, I'll be honest with you. You know my views about the Bigfoot, okay? You know my views about the Bigfoot. So... Is it, though? Is it the Bigfoot or is it not the Bigfoot? I don't, I don't think it's the Bigfoot because I don't necessarily believe. And I know when I say I don't believe in the Bigfoot, chat. Why do I keep on saying this chat? Because I did a live stream last time. Sorry. Right? You guys give me shit. Like, man, I'm telling you, the Bigfoot is real. I've seen it. I've tried to shoot at it. It comes and talks to me at night. Right? I know you get upset. I know that there's, like, it could be a Bigfoot. I don't think there is. I think it's like one of those, like the Loch Ness Monster type thing. You know, maybe once upon a time it was real, but it's not anymore. Um, it is not a particular scary clip as it is mysterious, I find. It is, it is quite mysterious. You know, I'm always questioning if this was a Bigfoot encounter, why would he be running around in front of housing area where people actually live. Is that realistic? Maybe he's hungry, Frosty. Maybe he's hungry, mate. Just wants some bloody food. Wouldn't you think you would find him deep in the woods? I mean, I'm not an expert about Bigfoot sightings, but it's just one of the things I question. I mean, there is certainly something or somebody. The dog reacted in a way that could mean it was a stranger. Mm. It was quite entertaining. Yeah. I give this clip a seven skulls out of ten since I would agree really with creepy, you. but really, really entertaining and cool if real. But once again, it's always hard to say. Yeah, I would agree with you there, mate. Seven out of ten, I would say. Yeah. Hope you guys can agree with me on that. Cruising. Now, this short video was uploaded by DDDP and was taken during the vacation. The location is unknown, but it's definitely somewhere tropical. He was filming the ocean from the car. According to the uploader, this is the first time he's- MAXIMUM FRAMES PER SECOND PLEASE! ever captured anything paranormal. It was definitely not expecting it there. The clip itself is quite short, so it's been slowed down in order to see clearly what was recorded. No kidding. Blink and you might miss it. That one there. I mean, what? that's what? so fast. This is literally a two seconds clip. What, what are we looking at, Fossey? Pause it. Pause it, mate. Holy, okay. holy fuck oh, balls, man. What the hell was that? Fossey. You missed it, Fossey. Go back. Could be a woman. And... Okay, that is certainly really strange. That is really effing strange, mate. It's like, it's like a bride, right? With maximum long grudge hair, mate. Because she is kind of transparent. Yeah. How is that possible? And good eye on the person to catch that. I probably, if I wouldn't have known I'm looking for something, I might have missed that one. Yeah. Wow, I mean, could this just be a regular person standing there? You know, I, I wonder, maybe, but why is that person? It looks like she's reaching for the tree or something. Or is it, is it like a glitch where that's actually a leaf? That's actually a leaf. That's also a leaf. I don't know, man. Wear see-through clothing, technically. I mean, it, it, even her skin kind of, it's so hard to tell. I feel like you can see the ocean through her completely. And she has really long hair. It's longer than her, than her buttocks. Uh, uh, easy, Frosty. Hey, how about talks? Yeah, this is, uh, this is an interesting encounter. Could really be something out of this world. Could also be... <laughs> <laughs> he said buttocks. He could have said bollocks. His, her hair is longer than her bollocks. <laughs> Woman, but I can't explain why she would be transparent. I rated 6.5 skulls out of 10. Really? You're doing that one quite low, mate. I would say 7 at least. 10. I can't explain it at all. I wish I knew more about it, but I guess it'll stay a mystery, right? Intruder. Where's he gone again? Uh, are you where you are? The next video, and he states that the man oh, fuck off. always F stuff you, from mate. his kitchen area. So. Frosty, hang on a second, mate. Stop talking. We got a sh we got a, we got a shadow bastard or something coming through the fucking window, mate. All right? 
Let's go. He decided that one night he sets up a camera to capture whatever was causing all of that stuff. Let's take a look. Holy fucking hell, man. Look at you, pin eye. What's going on here? What the fuck? What the fuck? Whoa. There's loads of them. What? What is that all about, mate? Huh? What's that all about? Well, I think that dude has other problems than a ghost roaming his house. Yeah. It's from the fucking wrong turn. <laughs> this to me looks like an intrusion from a really weird person that likes to spook somebody else. It is really strange. And imagine seeing something like that on my camera. I mean, Jesus, man, it's the attack of the inbreeders, mate. Coming through your fucking window. What are you gonna do? It could also just be a skid, of course, which makes all of that a little bit less creepy. But still find this is pretty well done, even though not paranormal. Look at the pin eyes, mate. Look at the bloody pin eyes. Look, what's up with you? And that's why we have to rate this creepy clip a five out of ten. That's, see, that sort of shit freaks me out even more, mate. That freaks me out. I'm gonna say six. I know what you're saying, it could be a skit, but it freaks me out. So in fact, 6.57. 6.57, that's what I'm gonna say. Else. While creepy is, is, I don't think, paranormal. It's also holding a dog. Yeah, 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 it's not, it's not paranormal, mate. It should be real. Just close the window and be done with that, right? Interesting entry, though. That's a dog. That's a bloody dog, isn't it? With a little nose. The two eyes. That's a dog. Child ghost. C C Foster, now come back. Next video reads. This video apparently shows the ghostly figure of a child and was recorded in Leeds Castle in England. It was uploaded by user and paranormal enthusiast YB Normal. The uploader believes that this may be the ghost of one of the children of Henry VIII, since apparently this room was used as a nursery back in the days. Henry VIII also had a number of stillborn children, so it is possible that this could be one of the spirits. Didn't know that. Didn't know that, mate. On the other hand, viewers point out that the castle has over 500 years of history, and it's possible that the spirit could be anyone who lived or worked in the castle. That's true. You never know who the ghost is. Let's take a look at what was caught in the castle. Fucking hell, easy, 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 easy. Oh, this is a rhythmic beat. Press it, Frosty, let's go, man. <laughs> What are we looking at? I'd have to mute that music a little bit. It's always tricky. Copyright claims. Halls of Leeds Castle. To see if we can spot any ghosts. Ghosts. Must have been renovated lately. It looks really good. Frosty's getting down on you, mate. You're getting down with this tune, dude. <laughs> oh, God, that music. <laughs> I'm gonna set this up overnight. Several hours later. Several the, hours later okay. in the little princess's room. You, you, you do it then, mate. And the camera picked up this apparition. So, stationary camera now. Oh! Here? Man is happening right behind me, of course. This is a classic. What the hell? Look at that. Oh, what? The left. No! That is strange. It bloody is, mate. It's like a child is standing up in this room. Wow. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's just like, he's just learned to stand up. So he flipped the image to the right. And now right he's now. flowing. Motherfucker, he's flowing. 
50% speed. It is as if something is either coming out it's of the kid floor sitting down. Sitting it's a little naked kid sitting down. There. Or it just had manifested and now he's getting up. He's getting up, look. He's ramboing it. This Absolutely is frosty. Really weird. If that has not been edited. What is that? Do we hear anything? Just cars driving by? And he's like, it's actually, cars. F this standing, mate. I'm just going to vaporize into thin air. That is odd. This be something on the lens? No. Maybe. But it almost appears as if that thing has hair. Yeah. And a pair of pants on. Yeah, that's really good stuff. It might actually be my favorite tonight. It is good. It is good. I mean, why would anybody fake that in a castle like that? I mean, uh, there's probably people that would, but... Look! And now he's like, I'm like, I'm Something I'm manifesting in the nursery. A child that might have lived there a long time ago. Quite spooky. Since I believe this could be legit. And it is quite creepy, picturing that. I feel... This deserves. I'm before you say it, mate. Before you say it, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Let's go. And nine skulls out of 10. Oh, yes, it's okay. Not creepy as other ones, but I feel the entertainment factor is there, and it's quite unsettling. Mm. And might be real. So mm. congratulations to winning the creeper of the night. Hope you guys had a good time as well. I hope I see you all in the next one. Please leave a like and a comment for me. I would appreciate that. And, and um, I'll just say thank you so much, um, Frosty, for allowing me into your house, mate. It's fucking massive, by the way. Right? Beautiful. Le grande, le, uh, mucho grande, le casa. Okay? So thank you so much, Frosty. You've been a legend, mate. And thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you like the video with the little thumbs up thing. And um, also, if you're new, you can subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't forget to stay frosty. See ya. Get the merch at caspersite.com. Just Rambo it.